For one, I know I'm looking really cute right now. You guys don't Lego. have to tell me that. Put you on the Prada, send me feeling bad. I'll be looking like the nigga that to wish you hard. Then my girls, then my coming, then my looking bad. Man, I'm rolling with my niggas and we moving mad. So me light on the front, put it up till the morning. Then I know that your mind so they be stalling. And I'll be always there to answer whenever you're calling. And you always hold me down whenever it's boring. What's up, you guys? What's up? I'm looking a little crazy right now. I'm not having like a really good day. It all started off with the makeup. You know, when you do something and you already set out to do it, it kind of like disappoints you. You kind of like get fed up. You just kind of like not want to do anything. That's how I feel right now. It took me like over two hours to do this little bit of makeup. I'm just like kind of over it. I'm not really sure how this is going to work out in my favor, but I'm going to try this out. So cosplay, um, cosplay, excuse me, cosplays. These are actually cosplay wigs, but there is a website called Coswigs. I'll definitely link their information below. I did a wig for them, like probably like like months and months and months ago. They specialize in synthetic wigs of all different kinds of colors and styles. So if you're looking for something like pink, blue, green, yellow, orange, or ombre colors together, or white, or blonde, or gray, or black, or brown, or brown, or brown, they will have you hooked up, laced, they have those wigs. I did get this wig like some months ago, and it's a synthetic wig. It's a yakky texture, and girl, listen. Let's just jump straight into this unit and I'll show you guys what you'll get in your package. Let's go. When you receive your package from Coswigs, you will receive it in their standard packaging box. You will also receive some really great amenities such as a two-pack wig cap, which will protect your hair. Along with that, you'll also receive a satin carry-along bag and some flexi rods to curl your unit with. We also provided a beautiful pair of 3D mink lashes, which come in a really nice bright pink fuchsia carry along case, which you can store your lashes in. Cost Wigs does cater to synthetic wigs, and this one here is about 30 inches, I do believe. She is very long and in the yakky texture. She also is a very pure white. This lace front does have soft lace, which is more or less a tinted brown color. I would say a light tinted brown. Lace on this unit is very soft and very flexible. Make sure you check Cos wigs out. They have plenty of wigs to choose from. If you're looking for colorful wigs, such as pastels, unicorns, ombres, then you'll definitely want to check them out. This is a very long wig. I'm thinking it's probably like 30 four inches. I don't even know. It does look like yakky hair texture. And then it starts wanting, it's thin, you know what I'm saying? It starts looking like, um, like yarn to me or something like that. It seems like the more you brush it, the more texture it, it gets. Cause it kind of had like this kind of like glossy, shiny kind of thing going. And then the more you brush it, the more like textured it starts looking i'm not really sure but the lace is like a brown color thank you for that and it has like the standard combs inside and the adjustable strap the lace is rather soft it's tinted thank you jesus pretty sure i'm gonna look like some type of weirdo so let's just try this out and see how it goes i'm already prepared for it to get tangled like seriously as it is starting to do right now Okay, so the one thing that I did notice, there isn't a comb in the nape area, which is like a Debbie Downer. Well, it's not really a Debbie Downer, but girl, I would really have had liked a comb in the actual nape area, especially with this much hair. All right, you guys, let's just try to get into this unit. You know, as I do normally, I'm just gonna cut the lace off of this. So the lace is super soft. It's like a French lace, I would say. You know, it's nice when you see a synthetic lace front wig that has like really good lace. You start to feel like, you know, everything is gonna be perfect. Your wig is going to be laid down to the gods. Regardless of the hair texture or type or origin, you just feel like you got good things ahead of you. So, you know, the wig is a little bit too big. You know, it does come standard and you know hey so being that it's too big I always tell you guys if it is then just go ahead and cut over the ear flaps 
because if it's over your ear you're definitely going to want to cut that so i'm just going to take my clip as normal and i'm going to cut away the extra lace and hair on this synthetic yaki textured unit as you see that was a lot of hair but hey guys you can definitely do something with that i don't know you know we are having a little bit of difficulties here you know we're just gonna get through this get through it because i had high hopes high expectations for this unit regardless if it's synthetic a girl has high hopes so right now i'm gonna go ahead and attempt to make me some sideburns and baby hairs now when you do this you definitely want to tug at the wig because sometimes it can get a little tangled so don't be scared girl get your best hand and brush away those synthetic tangles and just get to styling honey you know brush out those sideburns they might get a little tangled but that's okay that's what those scissors are for and just continue on your daily journey of making those baby hairs Yes, girl, make those baby hairs. And as you guys see, I'm having just a little bit of minor difficulties with the hair, but no worries, you know, April can get to through this because I'm muffin. So now that we're back on track, we're just gonna go ahead and cut those baby hairs down to the length we desire. And I'm gonna try out this bed head. Well, actually I've tried it out already, but we're gonna try it out on this synthetic wig. And I decided to put it on my toothbrush and just sculpt those baby hairs. Now, as you guys see, the baby hairs, well, they are turning a little bit of a caramel color. And if you feel like that's a little bit too much foundation, you can definitely just brush it away with a baby wipe and continue on your journey with your favorite styling tool, which is my green toothbrush. This toothbrush never lets me down. She swoops and sculpts baby hairs like no other. And sometimes you may have to put a little bit of more hairspray, but hey, it's all good. Now that we got that laid down, we're just going to go on to the opposite side once we just brush away this little bit of hair. No biggie guys, no worries, no biggie, we got this. So I'm just gonna continue to brush. I just feel like it's best to just untangle before continuing on with this journey of styling because you guys know I'm a perfectionist and I always say I will never be defeated by a wig. Remove some of those hairs from your toothbrush because they can get stuck because of the hairspray and gel that you may accumulate on your styling tool. Now that we got that out the way, Let's just brush our ends and see how smooth that hair is turning out to be. With just a few minor strokes, you'll be definitely good to go. I'm feeling rather cute, you guys. I mean, I'm saying, <laughs> definitely cute. Let me get a little pose, strike a pose. Hey. I thought I looked rather cute. Now that we want to make sure that the, wind, the lace blends evenly into our own, you know, complexion, we want to make it look like scalpage. Scalpage, okay? Yes, okay, first let me just get those little bit of hairs out of my way and continue with my styling and profiling. Girl, this wig is so long, I really didn't know what to do. You see me? You see that. So I decided to go back to the hairspray. This is the trick, girl. Yes. And as Nene Leaks would say, now I'm definitely feeling rather cute. Okay, hold up, picture moment. <laughs> Instagram baddie for sure. I'm 
thinking that this is more or less like a virgin synthetic. No? Well, either way, I'm thinking that she's very versatile. Okay, you guys. So let me tell y'all about this wig, you guys. Listen, let's just get into the deets. First of all, I'm going to tell you guys, this is so freaking cute. Like, this, this wig is so cute. Like, seriously. Like, I love the way, like, the hair color kind of, like, blends with my actual skin and foundation. Especially for my sideburns. Like, look, you guys, like, this color is, like, it blended in with my foundation, the white. So like if you have one foundation or whatever, and you're kind of concerned if the hair does not blend properly with your skin, the hair will actually turn the color of your foundation, which will kind of blend. And also I like the fact that it is a 13 by six frontal and it's so long like girls. Don't mind my outfit today. But do you see the length of this? Like, hello. Probably like 30 inches. And I love like this snow white color. It just gives me like, it brings out my complexion a whole lot more. I like the I like this wig. I, I really, really like this wig a lot. Listen, you can do so many different things with this wig. Like, it's um, unbelievable. Like, seriously, it's definitely unbelievable. The fact that it just melts into my skin. See, like, the hair and the lace is, like, really, like, close to my own complexion. So it kind of, like, melts into my skin right there. Like, you can barely even see the lace because the hair is turned, like, the color of my foundation. So that's, like, a plus. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, who's doing that? Um, as far as the texture of this yakky hair, you guys know I love kinky straight or yakky texture here. You know how I always tell you guys, like, if the wig is too big, you could definitely cut it above your ear tab. So I have, like, a lot of hair that I was able to save from cutting the ear tabs off. So I'll probably, like, make a bang with that. For the wig, I'll probably, like, make a bang with that, um with that hair. Mm -hmm. Whenever you're cutting off your ear tabs, make sure that, you know, you keep the ear tabs like because it has hair on it and you guys could like make a bang out of it. Like all I have to do is straighten this like flat irons or I can use the comb and see, I still have the lace or hot comb. I can still like, I can sew a bang into the front of it. So that way, if I don't want to wear baby hairs, I don't have to. But it's super long. I think like this looks very natural on me and all that good stuff. Like, you know, it, it is a little bit of shedding and tangling, but for the price, you know what I'm saying? You can't beat that. I do really, really think like this is an extraordinary cute unit. Is that how you guys take the pictures? Like for Instagram, like the let me just like seize the moment, okay? I really want to seize the moment. How's that? Like, how's that? Is that cute? Like, beauty guru pause. Why do, do they do that? Like, you have your arm on anything, you could just pretend like it's propped up and you just, you look unbothered. And then if you want to give like a sexy, sultry look for the camera. You kind of like, like, from the camera, like you're not even being bothered. Put your eye up a little bit. Like, you know. You guys get what I'm saying. You guys get the gist. But yes! Uh, what were they called again? Coswigs. Yes, Coswigs. Okay, girl. Listen, hunties, make sure you check them out. Maybe I have a coupon code. I'm not really sure. I can't remember, so I'll definitely have to link that below. But they have loads of wigs on their website. Now, let me just give you the deep deets about this wig, you guys. For one, I know I'm looking really cute right now. You guys don't have to tell me that. 
Plus, I used my bed head, okay, hard head, to sculpt these baby hairs and make them look as natural as possible. Now, first of all, it's a little bit too big. The wig is a little bit too big for my head, so I had to, you know, kind of like, um, Pull the combs back a little bit tighter. Unfortunately, I didn't have an elastic band on this. Had I put an elastic band, it would have definitely been like on and popping for your girl, like popping. And I think like this hair goes really cute with my Sonic the Hedgehog shirt that I got from Target, okay? I think like this white brings out my hair completely different. Like it's really cute. Get out of here! It's cute. Had I known that I was going to be like styled and profiled like this today, I would have definitely like wore something more glamorous for this video. But you guys, you know, I think like this white hair looks really cute on me. Like, like let me know. You know what I'm saying? Let me know. Oh, whoops, it's got a little stuck here. Hold on. Oh. Getting stuck to my bracelets there. Hold up. Isn't she cute? Like, she is so freaking cute. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, whoops. Hold up. This hair is so voluptuous that it is knocking all of my tools over. Yes, you guys, yes. I mean, like, it tangles a little bit. Uh, it just tangles just a teeny bit. Oh, hold up. A little piece of hair got in my eyes. Was blinking so hard that the the, the, the hair is just flew in my eyes. I'm looking cute again. So, so you guys, I will <laughs> let me give you guys another pose before I go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yes, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, share this video with everybody in the world, even the people you don't like, you know, the people that you hate, you can definitely share it with them. You know, more views for me, okay? Um, definitely check out Cos Wigs down below. If you love wigs that are synthetic and colorful, you'll definitely want to check them out. They got some mermaid hair, they got some pastel, they got all different types of synthetic wigs that you can only imagine. This one is probably like 75 inches. I'm not really sure, but you know, you know, yeah, you guys, let me know what you think. And on that note, I gotta go. Uh, I love you guys. And yeah, I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up. Deuces.